Huh. I can be a barista. You want to be a barista? Yeah, why not? Absolutely not. Why? It's just pouring coffee into a cup. No, it's a lot more than that. Isn't that what you did before? I used to be a barista, but I got fired. Why did you get fired again? Because I ate a brownie that fell on the floor. Are you gross? What's no. wrong with this? Are you four years old? No, I was hungry, and it was a perfectly good brownie. You're hungry and you're eating shit off of the floor? They yeah, it, on the floor. It looked, it still tasted fine. Oh, God, dude. There's nothing wrong with eating. There's starving children in Africa who would have loved to have that brownie. Yes, but we are in America, and there, the, the floor is... People walk on the floor. We cleaned it every once in a while. Oh, Jesus, dude. I'm gonna go be a barista. You're gonna go be a barista? Yes, man. Yeah. But you need hands to make coffee. In a world where people with arms have reigned supreme, Christopher Crespo has had enough. He's got the drive. He's got the determination. He's got the heart. They call him the Cripple Threat. But after being laughed out of every job he's ever applied to, now the human cactus strikes back in hand jobs. Hi, I'm Christopher Crespo. Welcome to Hand Jobs. With me today is Stephen Bowles. He's the manager of the Platform Cafe and a stand up comic. And today he's going to be training me to be a barista. Hell yeah. Yeah, what brought you to, you know, the cafe business? Actually, comedy, believe it or not. Our friend Dan Wicks started producing a show here two years ago. So I started coming every other week because it was the only show I could walk home from. And then by then the staff knew me, so I needed a job and they hired me. And now, flash forward a year and a half later, and now I'm managing. So that's. Thanks to Dan Wakes' show, for real. Yeah. Damn. What are we going to be doing today? Today, I want to show you how to make the drip coffee first, mm -hmm. um, which is easy. But before that, uh, I need uh -huh. you to crush up some ice for That's me. That's easy. Why don't you ever listen to me, Matt? God damn it. Nobody listens to me. Hey, there it is. I'm ripping this go. pan. Yeah. Come. Get in there. I have to wear gloves again? Nah, you've been keeping your hands on the plastic. Is this latex? Yes. Are you allergic to latex? Yeah. Okay. Alright. I don't know if we have extra hats here, but we did have a guest leave this here earlier. It's just health code. You gotta be wearing something on your head while you're behind the bar. Are you serious? Um, for your hair. Yeah, someone left this here. I don't have a do you have a bandana or another hat? I mean, I'm Cuban, but I don't carry around a bandana. Okay. It was an honest guess, though. So what am I doing first? I'm going to walk you through the process of making some of the drip coffee that goes in these big guys right here. This is your regular house drip coffee. A house so, drip coffee? House drip coffee, yep. You had, wow. said you thought it was just pouring this and then you get coffee. This yeah. is what you got to do before you can do that. So none of the grounds come out over the side. So now we got our grounds ready to go for the mm. basket. Two old pine. Let's see. Filters and put it in the basket. Almost. Hold on. So close. And. And right up there. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Oh, wait, 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 wait. And it's a line. There you go. There it is. See, it's not that hard. Yeah, drip coffee's not that hard, but lattes and cappuccinos and mochas and all that fancy espresso drink is where it gets difficult. Oh, I love mochas. Uh, but you're going to be working with Drew. He's one of my employees. Hi, Drew. He's yeah. our best coffee guy by far. Show him your tattoo real quick. Death before decaf. He is our resident coffee guy. I know how to make drinks, but he knows the chemistry. He's the Heisenberg at Platform, so he's going to tell you everything that goes into making an espresso drink. And you said you like mochas, right? Yeah. And they will learn some basics, and then you should show them how to make a mocha. Absolutely. The same way you weighed out coffee, we have a very fine-tuned coffee grinder right here. Uh -huh. 
Then you're gonna take this thing, it's, it's called a, stamp. a tamp. Stamp, tamp, all that, yeah. Yeah. You're gonna wanna press it in flat. Oh wow. Brush off the grinds. This twists in right here. Uh -huh. And that's how you create the seal for the pressurized chamber, and that's how we're making the really concentrated espresso. Cool. Do you want me to try? Yeah, we're gonna have you do that whole process. <coughs> All you do is set it for about 24 seconds. Um, so let's practice making a shot, and then we'll make your mocha. Alright. Twist it the right way. You just right gotta way. give it a good hit. Other oh, way. Other way? Mm -hmm. this yeah, way. yeah, yeah. This way. There you yeah. go. Perfect. Alright. So. Oh. 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 That looks pretty good. That's a there puck. you go. Yeah, the used husk of the coffee is called a puck. You may need to start a little to the left. Start a little to the left? Yeah, that way, yeah. It's not. And then try like holding it this way a bit. Yeah. I got it, I got it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Just shove it in as tight as you can. Shoving in as tight as Matt's asshole. <laughs> All the way. Now hit start. Yeah. So you started pulling at five seconds, so we're gonna stop at 28. That's pulling beautifully. That's exactly how it should look. Oh my god, did I just make an espresso shot? That film you see on the top developing is called the crema. When you see that nice golden color, you can tell you're expressing it right. Woo! Now we're gonna learn how to make the mocha. Basically, your mocha is gonna be a latte with a little chocolate syrup. Mm. We've got Hershey's here because we're classy as fuck. Hell yes! You're Nobody gonna trashes coat Hershey. The here. base of the cup. <gasps> oh. Um, <laughs> this, that's a, that's you're a... gonna need to twist this. Whoa. Don't worry, this steam can't hurt you. Oh, cool. But when the water comes out, that can burn like a bitch. Ouch. What we want to do is make a diagonal line that way to form a whirlpool while we steam. Oh. So if you can see, there's that like paper tearing noise. Uh-huh. That's stretching the milk. It's stretching the sugar so it's a little sweeter. So first we spin the milk, uh -huh. knock out all the bubbles, and now we're gonna try and get our latte art. We wanna pour it directly in the center of the cup there. Ooh. And then we wanna pull through. Wow. And we made a little onion heart. All right, now it's your turn to make the mocha. Yes! All right, so uh, I need my Hershey syrup. Good, most baristas do. It's pouring in the milk. This is the tricky part. How do I not burn my hand? Try to go right on the rim of the milk and Hold form on. a whirlpool. We want what they call a micro sound. Like this? That's a perfect sound, yeah. You got it forming. There you are. You can turn it up if you'd like. I'm trying to. Excellent. And then burning my hand. Now turn it off then. There you go. Ow! You want to rinse that off with some water?
How do you like it? Okay. Oh, hey man. You actually got a job as a barista. Yeah. Alright, then uh, make me a small soy latte. Uh, small soy latte. Hot or iced? Uh, hot. Oh, hot. I can't wait to see this. Soy latte? Yeah. Really? Yes. Jesus. What? What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. You're not supposed to judge me, your customers when you're a barista. Uh, you're supposed to have like real drinks? Okay. I ordered a real drink. Make small? Me, make me a real drink, yeah. Small latte? Yeah, small soy. 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 Yes. Mm. Nothing wrong with the man getting soy. Is it your period? Give me a soy latte, Chris. Small? Yes. Yeah. Kinda looks like Matt a little bit. Yeah, I tried to draw a dick. Here you go. Alright, took you 20 minutes to make this. Better be good. You failed! Oh, how am I doing so far? I think you're doing pretty good. Your lattes pass as lattes, which is good. You didn't, the milk didn't explode all over you, which is pretty common for new baristas. So you're doing pretty good. You think you're ready for your first customer? Yeah, I think I'm ready for my first right. customer. Okay. Uh, there's green cheese. Oh, plate green cheese. That's it? That's all you want is green cheese? Yes, on the bagel. Okay. Look at you figuring out the computer, no help, yo. Are you done? Done? Small latte. Small latte. Not much in the way of art, but it looks good. Alright, first one. Thank you. Man, I'm hungry. <gasps> Yo, what are you doing? Nothing. Are you eating a brownie off the floor? Mm, no. Yeah. Oh. Uh, sorry. It's not even I'm firing you so much for the health code thing. It's like I can't work with someone that I know is gonna eat shit off of the floor. It's a health Sorry, code I'm... violation and a and a Steven violation. I can't I can't have you on staff if you're gonna be doing gross shit like that. Can I keep the helmet? No.